than we would have. <laughs> <laughs> Just answered a lot of questions I had about what, did I say Connor? Okay, there you are. <laughs> I mean, that's really the, you know, the we don't know what happens. It's a mystery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway, all right, I'm going to ask some questions to you guys. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm a really shy person, and Joe to ask me to do this, and it's, it's challenging in its own right. <laughs> You're all close frails. <laughs> some of the best uh, shows that have been on Adult Swim to date. So give her a big round. Yeah. All right, before I forget, so this, this the show premieres tomorrow at midnight on Adult Swim. And uh, new episodes are going to be available every weekend for free on the Adult Swim app. So, okay, that's great. Okay, um... So, just like an icebreaker question to everybody, um, <laughs> what what is everyone's perfect breakfast like? <laughs> oh, just the, not everybody, <laughs> just you guys. Uh, just two eggs, toast, bacon, and hash browns. Very straightforward. <laughs> I'd say something savory with coffee. Uh, it's just a like a. Egg white omelet, spinach, feta, <laughs> side steam spinach, English muffin, uh, hummus. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of bring it back to oatmeal. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. I like to take Pop Tarts and break them up and dunk them in peanut butter. <laughs> 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 okay, that was that, that broke the ice. <laughs> um, and then oh, we'll get those later. Uh, do you guys have a like a you know my group? We, we're called PFR. Uh, do you guys have a name or anything? Do you have a nickname or a like, short name? When is everybody here? Do you? Yeah, we're, we we call ourselves the Joe Paris. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sweet. Uh, that's, that is. Okay. Um, and then going into this after the success of the first season, it's you know a little tricky maybe. Second, did you have any like big things that you wanted to do this season that were different than the first time? Maybe to Joe and whoever else wants to talk. <laughs> I mean, the writers' room was so long ago. It's uh, just. I guess just try and use what we had and make it as good as possible going forward and try and, I think the big thing was um, get the more characters uh, screen time, like, uh, I don't know, Lulu and, and Connor and and uh, Joe Scott who plays Sue Melsky because, um, yeah, it was, what the hell was that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, what, I'm sorry. What the hell was that? <laughs> Were you? Did you make that sound with your mouth? Oh, that was the chair. Sorry to put you on blast, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to concentrate. Um, uh, it, was, it was nice to have. Um, I don't like, so, so like someone brought their emotional support goat to the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I don't know. It was, it was honestly more fun for me to watch like the sixth episode when Carmen Christopher comes up and acts like you know, <laughs> did a great job acting. He's nothing like that in real life. <laughs> He went to Oxford University. <laughs> just kidding. But, uh, but no, just to build out the world and get more characters in there because um, I don't know. It was it's more fun when you get to grow the world and have more characters in general. So that was, I think, the major goal and maybe make their uh, more funny. <laughs> I think that was pretty good. Anyone else have anything that like you particularly wanted to see that? Either you know you didn't get to the first time, or 
everyone kept saying, no, that's a bad idea. You really <laughs> thought it was a good idea or something. You just kept bringing it back. Any, any other things like that? Well, uh, Nathan Min had an idea for one of the characters uh, to have invented a, um, what was, it was a chair that, uh, what was, it was a chair that when you would sit on it and it would stretch you, what was it? <laughs> Do you guys, are, is Nathan here? <laughs> it, I think it was like a chair that stretched you, and it was for like a side character that uh, I think. Was it? It, was, it was for next. It was for. Um, yeah, for no, it was it was for the uh, Alan in the Black Adam. Yeah, and what did he? It was a chair that. <laughs> yeah, and what did it do? It had a multi-purpose chair. It had nothing to do with the show at all. But I thought it was, it was like an invention that he had. Yeah, she was trying to market. Joe sees him in the middle of the night on his porch alone in the dark, <laughs> <laughs> stretching himself out of his medieval chair. And I think, and that was probably, I'd say, the best idea of the whole writer's room, maybe. And, uh, you know, that just got left behind on some cork board. It's kind of like what that guy was doing with his chair. <laughs> wow. It didn't make that orgasmic noise, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's been a wholesome night. I didn't mean to uh, dirty this up. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Let's direct this Q and A at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, dude? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, I got another one here on my list. Uh, so uh, this is, I guess, maybe it depends if you're like a half empty or half full glass person, but, um, and you can decide. Uh, but which, like best day or worst day of the shoot? Like any good, uh, any good stories you feel like sharing? <laughs> okay. Definitely answer this one privately. <laughs> well then how about the other one? It was like a super, Okay, that one too t TMI. All right, it's a little too Terry Gross. There's a lot of good days, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you call the opposite of mansplaining. <laughs> 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 Right down there, Joe. Yeah, go. I don't remember. <laughs> I did, I, I did, I, it is kind of, you know, it, it was like uh, over the summer in Milwaukee, and it's like, you know, we're it's uh, they were working with little kids and people that are older and people that I mean, it's like a it was a real uh, like kind of uh, adventure, I'd say, because last season was very cold. And uh, we just kind of, I think we all thought, well, it'll be so good if it's just hot. <laughs> and it turns out hot is also tough, you know? But uh, I do think it was kind of like, because a lot of the people in the show are not, um, like, not necessarily like first thing actors. Like, a lot of them have done other things, and then we thought, ooh, they would be good in the show. And then they became actors in the show. So it was kind of like, I think we all kind of learned together kind of how to put together this thing, which was kind of fun, but also challenging. Did the old people, we've had this situation, like when they sit around a lot, was there a lot of complaining from the elderly people, or are they just didn't happy to sit around, or? They were very good sports for the most part. The scene in the backyard was a long daytime shoot, and it was very hot, and then it almost rained, and then everybody had to sing all day, it rained a little bit, and, I think there's also an element because it's Milwaukee and it's pe people are very excited and it's not, uh, yeah, what? Milwaukee! <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, you're very excited, see? <laughs> very excited, yeah, they're just, it's not, it's not like a set to them, it's like everything is like exciting. Like the, when we were shooting in Joe's house, uh, his character's house, the local, uh, 
news came and did a story about how they're shooting in the <laughs> neighborhood, and they did interviews with people, and most of the people were like, I don't know what this show is. I don't know. <laughs> and also the network is, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> but there was a guy who was like, it's really fun to be in the neighborhood and hear someone go, quiet, on set. <laughs> Which never, no one ever said that. I think also just kind of going back to that, that day in the backyard, just, I don't know if it's super clear, but that's not a real song. <laughs> and uh, just kind of having a group of essentially strangers learn that song and sing it for, I'd say, seven to eight hours <laughs> was a truly insane experience. Just sort of <laughs> going off what Connor was saying, it's just astounding how many people don't think that Adult Swim is a real channel. Like, uh, I thought it was bad when I worked at, at late night with Seth Meyers and be like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. And then to be like, it's on Adult Swim, and like, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry. Season one, there was, we had to film a thing where a guy just ate pineapple, and uh, I was like, so what is this? Like, is this like softcore porn or whatever? <laughs> like, no, it's like a comedy channel. He's like, oh, okay. So it's like Playboy? Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> I think it's the adult part. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Because, if it yeah. was Teen Swim, it would be yeah. all good. <laughs> yeah, I, I once, uh, when my daughter was in preschool, I came in and the teacher pulled me aside and she said, your daughter's saying you work in adult film? <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. I said, no, no, it's adult swim. <laughs> okay. What's your, what's your fake job when you get into a lift and people ask you? Oh, I, don't, I don't talk to people. In the you lift. don't? No. no. You don't have a fake job lined up? I mean, no. I say I do sound sound for reality shows. <laughs> <laughs> but don't they then want to talk to you about that? Well, they'd be like, well, what shows? I'm like, I don't know. Well, what do you watch? And then they'd say, yeah, no, not that. <laughs> I say I'm a skate park architect. I'm like, I build skate parks. <laughs> yeah, you know, half pipes. <laughs> Bowls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, do you have one, Joe? Do you have a fake job? I told a few drivers that I produce podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> they want to talk about it. Well, then I say I'm more on the money side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, you, you, do Marty you says he's a United States Navy SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to kill back daddy. <laughs> Beard. Yeah, he said he, he's trying to give Chris Kyle a run for his money. <laughs> he has a Chris Kyle American sniper. Art. Let's, let's, Chris Kyle is the reason we are here tonight. Yes. <laughs> Gave us the freedom we enjoy today. Yo, I'm, try, I'm pitching A24. It's uh, it's a mumblecore remake of American Sniper. And guess what? The screen's not. It's not going to be shaped like a rectangle. It's going to be shaped like a square. <laughs> 24 be doing square movies now. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's gotta be, it's gotta be shaped like a sniper scope. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> yeah. Oh, Marty, you have a fake job. Yeah. Okay. That was the best day of the shoot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, maybe we'll do one more and then we'll see if other people have. I have a lot more questions. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay. Um, so this is just a, a random thing that I've been thinking, and I, I there's probably not like you know on Fleabag, you know, there's this big reveal of who she's been talking to after the first two seasons. Nah, like, who are you talking to? Are you gonna, is it gonna? It does it does it come up? Is it at the end, or is it is it is it? Who are you talking to? <laughs> We need eight more seasons. Woo! <laughs> 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 well, maybe we'll talk to you. All right, so. It'd be cool if it was the Crank Anchor Puppets. These <laughs> 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 are all puppet camera crew. <laughs> and they've been writing the show. <laughs> It'd be a big thing, you know, uh, reach across the aisle, Adult Swim, Comedy Central, uh, Crank Anchors. That is, that is actually, weirdly, I was in a, I was in a lift, and I, 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 I didn't lie, yeah, I was in a lift, wow, lift not Uber, hard. remember when Uber was weird now two now years ago? Now sponsors Connor. Um, if they give, you know, you can round it up to charity, it's good, it's all, you know, it's, uh, but I mentioned, he did ask me, I said, I 
the show Adult Swim, and then he's like, oh yeah, I like that cranky in your show. <laughs> 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 I guess somebody uh, uh. does. Okay. Um, all right. So, does do people in the audience want to ask some questions? Um, is that a big yes? <laughs> I mean, shy people can ask questions too. If you're shy, maybe I'll come out there. You can whisper it to me. What was your favorite episode? Favorite episode. To anyone? Or to me. <laughs> I like the one with the, um, uh, when they're camping. That was my favorite one. Or the one in the um, grocery store. <laughs> what, what are your guys' favorites? Anybody have any big favorites? I like the singing at the end of the seven. That's, a, I don't know, it's just a nice goofy moment and also sweet at the same time. I think it kind of, I don't know, kind of it hits exactly where we want the show to hit and also, um, I don't know. I love seeing Gene act with himself. Yes, I mean. <laughs> Give a wave, Gene. Give it up for Gene Kelly, everybody. That was not actually uh, his twin brother. That was, uh, we did a Swiss screen. Well, no, we, no, we, we cast. We, we found a we found a lookalike. We cast. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. There was a lookalike that we cast as Gene in case we needed to shoot the back of him, and there was just this uh, guy in, walking around who looked kind of like Gene the whole entire day, and unfortunately we only had time to use him in the very, very final shot, and so there's just a, a poor actor in Milwaukee who looked exactly like Gene, and was, uh, he was like, was, no offense Gene, he was like slightly more buff, and I felt, I've, I felt bad that he never got his moment to shine. <laughs> but that was my favorite episode. Marty? I'd say grocery store, or there's one later in the season that, that you haven't seen yet. Uh, Carmen really makes me laugh in episode six. <laughs> I, agree. I, think, I think episode six is, it might be my favorite. It's a tie for me, all of them. <laughs> 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 okay, anybody else have any questions? <laughs> For the first time in that uh, video from Eight Green Greg, that's a real internet. Uh, he has a real YouTube channel. It was kind of like a mix of real and fake YouTube channels, but that was his. And then I've verified it a couple other places, and that 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 fact is true. The lights could go out tonight. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? I hope so. I think we're working on it. Yeah, I think we'll put it on. Uh, I think the plan is to put it up on Adult Swim. We we started the conversation. And, uh, yeah, but it's all done by uh, Ryan Dan, who did the first season. <laughs> and, uh, also, James Wallace, who goes by Skyway Man, he was uh, brought on the second composer of the season to do more episodes. So, yeah, hopefully. I agree. <laughs> okay. Any couple more, I guess? How about over there? What would you all keep in your apocalypse bunker? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd rather be dead. <laughs> we, 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 did have, we, we would talk about that. I'd rather, I'd honestly rather, I can't, I can't live without McDonald's. <laughs> For everyone. Um, anybody else? Oh, wait, over there. Yeah. So every episode has a theme. Uh, at what point in the creative process do you start with, do you come up with that theme? Is it something you have at the very beginning, or do you kind of back into it? That's a good question. It kind of changes with each one. I, sometimes we get the story first, and sometimes we get the theme, just something that, that we're all interested in or spending time reading about. And um, yeah, it, 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 it kind of changes and then stuff gets eliminated as we go through the season. I remember we had stories before we had 
themes for the episode, and then it kind of it kind of figures itself out throughout the process. It's different for every episode. Every episode generally has a, a question that motivates a lot of it. Yeah. Not always that, but usually. Also, I think that it's kind of important to note that, you know, because Joe plays somewhat himself, but uh, I think that, um, like for example, the beans, uh, Joe came in and talked about beans, I'd say, three times a week um, <laughs> for five weeks. And then I think at that point we were like, maybe we should have the episode be about beans. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you really, you really love them. <laughs> it kind of depends on what I get most interested in during the writing process. <laughs> a lot, and yeah, unfortunately for you guys, I don't know. We cut like pages of being uh, not only jokes, but facts. <laughs> there was a lot of Bean stuff that didn't make this. There was a character <laughs> named Bean. <laughs> we had to cut. For copyright reasons. <laughs> I just remember you came in one day with like five Bean books and you handed them to me and you said, I, I think it would be helpful if you read all of these. <laughs> I ain't read a book since 04, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and the scene with him describing beans was like five pages long and we kept on being like, you, we have to trim this down to the essential bean fact. <laughs> I think even on the day it was like a three page monologue that we had to be like, okay, maybe four paragraphs and that's it. <laughs> Do you feel like it's out of your system or is that something we could look forward to in season three? <laughs> We're headed towards winter now, but as soon as April hits, it's gonna flare up again. Thursday and then I uh, kind of put off that until after that because I don't want to get too wrapped up on it until we finish but as soon as next Thursday comes uh, this is my next project <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about people I, I saw this and I was like this is either, Joe's either going to love this or he's going to get so pissed off he's going to put a hole through the wall uh, I saw someone use a cactus for a Christmas tree. How, scale one to 10, how pissed off are you right now? <laughs> is it a big one? It's a big one. Is it a living one? I, I would assume so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's really fun. <laughs> All right. You don't have to water it? I mean, yeah, if, it, uh, if you hurt your hand or something. But all of, so that's kind of as, as long as you don't have kids, I support cactus Christmas trees. <laughs> My main beef with Christmas trees is they're just not sharp enough. <laughs> you push someone into it, they're probably not going to get that hurt, you know. Hey, uh, <laughs> I was out this playing next door. Yeah, I snuck out, caught caught a few minutes of it. You know. <laughs> Right, maybe one last question. Or are we done? We're done. Okay. All right. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Why don't you clap again? Woo! Thank you.